get my thoughts out about what I thought about the most recent lesson that Pace Kids did. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess we, they came to our class last Tuesday, and um, the weekend, all weekend before that, I had been watching um, a, like a video series. This guy has thousands of videos um, where he goes and, and he, he just talks to atheists and uh, all the different people of all faith, like different faith backgrounds, Buddhists, um, Hindus, Scientologists, and I was just really, I, I was inspired by the fact that somebody can go out and talk um, not like as an angry, um, fiery person, but can just um, simply show the love of God by, um, you know, instead of debating, just simply just stating real facts and asking questions and letting them answer and, su and like being, being supportive of their answers if they, if they make sense. Um, and so... After being inspired by all those videos, I just started, I just dove into prayer um, for the, the remainder of that the weekend and uh, all day Monday. I was just kind of praying that uh, I, I God would give me an opportunity to start showing God's love through you know to people who have, who have no idea who He is. Um, and so then Tuesday comes around and uh, the Pace guys um, all this, like, all told me that they were going to be um, like you know, preaching. I guess not preaching, just giving a lesson. Of the universe got started, and so I was like, "Wow!" Um, so I knew it was going to be like a period, and all first period, I was just kind of like praying about it. I knew there was going to be a lot of controversy. People were going to think it was stupid. People were going to make a joke out of it. Um, and so then, so we got there, and I was just—it was so cool because like I'd been praying about it, and I was completely prepared. Um, and <clears throat> people were like, people would like kind of want to like um, commend me on my like my points made. Hey man, I loved your argument. I was all I was all on Team Brooks, and I was like, "Well, I wasn't, you know, I didn't really do that. It wasn't like I just showed up, and it was a spontaneous thing. Like God had prepared me for this. Um, so, you know, I think it's really cool the fact that a, you know, that's how that's like God revealed that to me um, that He prepares me for things like like that. Like I, He shows me certain videos through YouTube. Like who would have thought that God had that ability? And then. Um, and so that I would be inspired to pray about that exact subject matter. And so then the next, the, within two days, somebody, like a group of, a group of uh, missionaries would be willing to come and talk about something that I've been praying about. And then I think something also that shows is just how, um, you know, how supportive, how, um, how awesome an organization of PACE is and how centered it is around, um, around Christ. Because, for instance, one of my good friends um, in that discussion, ask, you know, why on earth, are, what inspires all to do this, you know, why, why, like, what is, mo like, mo those motivation to, to come into, a, like, a random public school and talk about this, because, you know, he doesn't really, from, from getting to know him really well, he doesn't really see it, where that kind of inspiration would come from, and so, um, and then, of course, the Pace group was, like, like had the ability to say that it's only because of the love that Jesus Christ showed them that they are able to show that same kind of love. Um, and so I think that was probably, I can't really decide which one of those things is, is cooler except for the fact that God's awesome. So, um, but ultimately, uh, the lesson, although it was kind of awkward and some people made it a joke, I think it was a great experience simply because of the fact that um, if, it didn't, if it touched no one else but me, um, God did a like, amazing job. Um, and just, it, he just chose his supremacy through that. But I have a feeling it touched several more hearts than mine.